is the uh, UCR under color removal or GCR gray component replacement. So now we're getting from high key into low key. Low key means it's uh, an image that's darker, mostly shadows and blacks. A lot of neutrals in these last couple photographs here. Neutral grays, neutrality. A lot of neutral grays. All right, now here's a sample where um, this is mostly just black ink with no undercolor. It's not a rich black, it's just regular black, and um, it's only black. So this is not bad. Uh, we got a pretty good D max here. So if I put my densitometer into density mode, let's just out of, out of curiosity, the paper measures. 0.27 on the yellow filter and the black measures 1.11 now again if we follow snap uh, black typically would run around uh, 105 okay so this this can be problematic because all that ink uh, what you should know about newspaper inks are that they uh, technically never dry their primary driving mechanism is uh, by absorption into the paper. They're not like a solvent-based ink where um, if you flash off or evaporate off the solvents they dry or an, uh, or an oil-based ink like you might find on a sheet fed press that dries by oxidation, oxygen, air, polymerization, cross-linking. So that's, that's one of the reasons why after you read a newspaper you, you get ink on your fingers or that um, you know, that's because these inks really never dry. They're inexpensive inks, right? Now here's an interesting example where um, where there's no coverage here as you roll around the cylinder and as the ink rollers print um, you have excess ink on the rollers because there's no image so when you hit an image area you see these bands right here. Uh, we have different technical terms for this. Don't know how well you can see that. All right, maybe I'll get a little closer. So that would be called re-rolling, ghosting, starvation, and part of the problem is uh, newspaper presses typically only have two ink form rollers. So the more rollers you have in your ink train and the more ink form rollers you have contacting and touching the plate, the higher the quality of your printing. Okay, now here's another heavy solid black, but this has got a rich black. It's got an undercolor to it. Another heavy black. Uh, not a half tone, not a dual tone, but a quad tone, primarily, primarily where all the details in the black separation, but a little bit of three color underlay to make the black look a little darker. Full coverage on the yellow. Pretty heavy coverage here, and uh, I do remember this particular ad running. Uh, we had problems on press. You can see we got magenta here, we got magenta here. So, in terms of color variation across the sh sheet or web here, the page uh, is not very consistent or uniform. Nice job here. Nice uniform color and density. Again, the last couple samples here have been very heavy coverage solids. Okay, now I think you can see this. If I look at all this white, well, not the large font size, but if you look at the smaller font size here 
it's blurry and fuzzy and that's because we're out of register so if you look at these register marks right here I don't know if you can see that we're out of register quite a bit and there's another mark down here in this corner again I'm not sure if you can see that how well you can see that but we're significantly out of register so uh, I had a previous video where we talked about white reverse type from the uh, I think it was the magazine uh, hardtails biker magazine and I made some recommendations about going to larger sizes rather than smaller sizes I'm glad to see there's sans serif here, no sans serifs, and I'm glad to see that they're predominantly just a two-color background, uh, a cyan and a magenta. Okay, two interesting samples here. So we know uh, what reader spreads are, what printer spreads are, we know what a center spread is, we know what a crossover is. In the newspaper industry, we have a special name for a two-page center spread, and that's called a double truck. So, this is called a double truck. You need a wider plate for two pages, not a narrower plate for one page. So this is, is not done very often, um, so that's called a double truck. And here's another example of a double truck. Okay, so that's a double truck. So a double truck in the newspaper industry is kind of like saying you have a two-page spread that's a center spread, right? Now again, I can see some misregistration in this type here. And the other thing is um, we talked about the inks not really drying. So you have to be careful about this marking here, this rubbing. You can think of it like set off. So what happens here is when we're going through the folder, uh, we have wheels that are putting pressure on the fold. So if the ink is wet, you can start seeing some of the tracking here. Okay, I think I'll stop now and show you another video uh, in more detail. Talk to you soon.